If you can read this, yes, this is how I feel. Good. Welcome back, guys, to the Weeps Closet. My name is Echo. I'm Jake. And today we're watching Demon Slayer episode three of the Entertainment Arc, or is episode nine? Ten. The Ten. yeah, yeah, because he had seven episodes, and yeah. We know how to count, guys. Uh, Inosuke was looking hot, he and was uh, not that uh, not that uh, I'm saying oh. that boys are hot, <laughs> um, because they're not uh, not that not that you know Inosuke's underage. Not that he's hot, being underage. I'm just saying if he was a girl. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, but yeah, he's definitely he definitely was um, playing the part. Let's say like that. By just being himself, right. um, but he was walking up to one of the guest room, and was it one of the wives that was being held captive in that room? Yes, it was the one that uh, has like the blonde streaks in the front. Yeah, it, it was the Senitsu of the uh, girls. I was about to say she has really big titties, but I think they all do, you know. Yeah, I feel, I feel like <laughs> they are all meant to look that good because of the fact that he chose them. Not that big titties only look good, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like what we were like. <laughs> Let's get canceled this episode. I know, right? Uh, but no, so yeah, so um, Inosuke was able to like uh, listen into some conversations and deduce that this particular chick should be around here somewhere. And she was being held captive at the moment, being interrogated by what we can assume is Daki. Yes. Um. Weird. Uh, you saw the comment, little right? little comment. Yeah, we got in the last one. So. That wasn't Daki that no, was staying with Tanjiro. Yeah, the one that was, like, it's just so odd. Like, uh, granted, doesn't tag, uh, uh, yeah, but she also wears makeup, so mm -hmm. she could hide it with the thing. Because yeah. I was going to say, she has, like, a tattoo on the face, too. Mm -hmm. But no, I don't know. It's so odd. I mean, I guess you can have multiple Oiran, Oiran? Yeah. Oirans. So, yeah, so you you get a, an Oiran per house. So, yes, I guess that wasn't Daki. Mm -hmm. But still... It was so odd how she talked about it, about the other chick that, quote unquote, ran away. Yeah. Uh, I think you brought up a really good point that if she is always the top dog, she no can just make sure that nobody else is because she's immortal, you know? Yeah. And she can uh, continuously. But that that has to rise suspicion. So I, I would assume that after a certain amount of years, she would need to trans, uh, trans like sure. go somewhere else. For sure. We ha I love the transformation of all the three guys. It was freaking hilarious. Like mm -hmm. I was dying whenever they showed everybody. And especially whenever they slowly start selling them out. And then the last one was Senitsu. I lost it because of, of the little, like, stamp rejected. saying rejected. Yeah, oh my god. It was so fucking hilarious. No, yeah, the whole last episode, we got no action, but it was still, like, one of my favorites just because it was so, like, perfect. The the, the way that they handled the comedy within it, it was just mm -hmm. so good. Um, it wasn't, like, too cheesy or too too much of it. It was, I feel like, a pretty good, you know. And I already love uh, Tengen. I think he's hilarious. I love that he, he abuses his charm. <laughs> I think that's hilarious too oh, because usually okay. it's like women that are doing that, you know, yeah, yeah, to yeah. get in somewhere. But he can he can do that. That's so crazy. I mean, he definitely is the god of flashiness. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start these guys. Follow us on Twitter. Check our tra uh, Patreon and also check our Twitch. We are streaming so often. I got one more episode left of my Nuzlocke. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. But hey. That's what that's why you're there for, you know, just to see me suffer in the last Elite Four. Uh Yeah, and I just got done with the twenty four hour. That was uh that's crazy, man. It's fun it's funny because every single time that you do a twenty four hour, you say never again, and yet here you are. Doing well, here's the again. thing is that it wasn't supposed to be a twenty four hour. So <laughs> thank you, Super Mana Man, and thank you, Remy <laughs> Pond, if you're here. For turning that bad boy twice as long. <laughs> I was so I wonder hilarious. if you can see it in my eyes. I was watching the stream earlier, and I was just like, "God damn, I look like a zombie." <laughs> you start like using makeup and whatnot to like hide it. Um, but yeah, no. So we got that going on. The uncut for this is definitely gonna be in the Patreon. So go mm -hmm. ahead, keep an eye on that. Check it out. It's only two dollars for the time being. For the time being. Um, and then we also got the Patreon exclusives. Right now is Attack on Titan. We are reaching the end of. Uh, are we not? Are we halfway through the first arc of, of Attack on Titan of uh, the fourth season? Or oh, we haven't even started the fourth season yet. 
Um, haven't started. Uh, on Patreon, episode one will probably drop late this week. Okay, cool. So, yeah. hey, look at that. And, uh, and then, like, yeah, by the end of this week, we'll be kind of just starting on the first or the second arc of season three. So, Patreon is still way ahead when it comes to Attack on Titan. So, yeah, like, you can see it in our channel, but then you can go to our Patreon and catch up to what we are releasing right now. <clears throat> uh, the next one will be Invincible, and that should be around January in there. So, by all means, check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, but without further ado, go watch the show. Come back. Let's watch it together. So this is way back in the day. Caught up to it. She's about to get eight. You better run. Oh, she's like, I ain't afraid of you, lady. Well, you should. Did she just... Uh, oh, yeah. She just ate her, ate her hole in one bite. I feel like there has to be like a secret room underneath. I bet she knows the ins and outs of every single building in this entire entertainment art, yep. art entertainment district. There were a couple of people in the comments like backing up the song now. It's so. good. It's a it's a banger. Just got to give it a few more weeks. It's literally what I said to you the other day. Like, was your favorite song your favorite first, after but... you listened to it one time? Yeah. You know. Some people would just play Devil's Advocate and say, oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be kind of like that flashback where you open it and yeah, there's nothing. You see his little lips there. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Nezuko can totally just walk around. That's Especially if she's indoors all the time. Yeah. Because it's like they said, they don't go out during the day. The district is like, it's not alive during the day. Actually, he's the best one to infiltrate now that I think about it. What? How so? Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. You cannot let this woman die. Give the Inosuke uh, senses. The, the Peter Tingle. God damn. He's <laughs> just breaking character right now. He doesn't care. Nobody's like... <laughs> he got in the way. Uh, I, I thought he confused it, but no, you're, you're right. Like, he got in the way. <laughs> hey, get back into character. <laughs> That can't not be her, right? Yeah, it's it's. it's... You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah. This looks cool. Though. I like the eye design. <laughs> so, 
This girl's evil. Ooh. Ooh. The first time that he actually stood up, man. Oh my god. I feel, you know. You deserve this, man. It's the first time that he actually actively stood up. Yeah, but against. What is she, upper six? I mean, uh, yeah, he probably is dead immediately, but. That's what I'm saying. Like, how now of all times did he mm -hmm. find the courage? That is actually quite correct. You need to cut it into the stem into four pieces and then put it in water to absorb more water. Like, you're too energetic. Give me space. <laughs> that was the face of the other guy. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't pick up on the deep voice because mm -hmm. he totally broke character. <laughs> Such a amazing post. He so looks like a girl. It's not even funny. <laughs> like, and she's like, oh my God, you got those moves? No, man. Like, guys will take a liking of you. <laughs> Damn. Lights out, man. Two days before. Okay. Is this not the girl that was staying with, with Tanjiro? No. It looks similar, but no. The eye makeup is different. How do you remember that? And plus her eyes are different too. That's switching character, though. <laughs> she was ready. Well, bye bye to her. She about to get dropped? Probably. I feel like she's gonna take a slash if possible and then she'll drop her. It's like, yeah, upper six. Shit. Oh, so those were the people that were around earlier that were contemplating the suicide. I mean, if I was going to get killed by anyone. Mm. Took me a second to catch. <laughs> I was just concentrated on this. <laughs> you know what I, I just realized? It seems like the upper rank is free to say his name without the fear of the curse. The fear of the curse. Whenever you mention his name, you would die immediately. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. Yeah, that's what happened to the girl with the, the with the balls at the beginning of the first season. Mm -hmm. She no. said, oh, yeah, 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 moves yeah. on, and then the arms start coming out mm -hmm. and kill her. Oh, I mean, if I was going to get killed by anyone... Ooh. Seven. Seven hashers. That's insane. Mm. Mm. He is 
So she she picked up that is a guy. Oh, I do appreciate that she's picking up on it because it would have been kind of convenient if she was upper six, one of the smartest and, and unable most to pick fierce up. demons and couldn't pick up on that. Mm -hmm. When you got Zenitsu who literally was able to detect, detect that she was a demon yeah. before she even spoke. If she's about to eat you, would you shoot your shot? Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah, uh, this one is like, hey, before if you that. Get, if you give her a really good time, maybe she'll keep you alive. That's, gonna, that's asking too much. But I'll try. <laughs> I mean, put yourself in my shoes. You're you're going against a demon. There's no way I can match that stamina, bro. I mean, I, I would need to be harsh your life's, level. Your life's depending on it, man. <laughs> it's not about the speed. It's about the motion. That so looked like an Osuke on the left there. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, I see what you yeah, said. Yeah, 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 yeah. On, on the last episode, I did not, pick, I did not catch it on the last one. So, if anything, I think that was probably a flashback. He probably was a pretty good hasher and then got poisoned by Mutsan, and that's like slowly spreading. Damn, I didn't with, think about with that. his like breathing technique, it's slowing it down, kind of like with uh, Sanisu did with the spider. Uh huh. I would love to see him like pop into battle one last time or something like that. That would be crazy. Ooh. All the different eyes. <laughs> she slapped the f out of you. It feels like he's staying in like a closet. <laughs> they just look like the rooms from Shenmu. I will be. Yep, exactly. Oh my god! That's exactly. I'm like, I would not let my guard down, especially whenever I would just woke up. <laughs> 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 I think I saw that it showed up. Oh my god, what's Gyu doing? So, I, I don't think I should say this because I think it's a spoiler. But I read something about uh, Tomioka. <laughs> she has a friend. <laughs> this is like shaping up to be my favorite. It's, it's definitely, it, I like it. There's a lot of different elements going on. Mm -hmm. It's not just, who's the strongest fighter? The strongest fighter. No, there's, I like the stealth. I like mm -hmm. the idea that they got to infiltrate. I like that we get to see their innate talent mm -hmm. used in a different way. Mm -hmm. Like, usually it's, it's to help them fight and feel the use and whatever. But now, in this case, they're using it to recon as well. Like, I forgot that, like, Tanjiro can also use the nose to sniff out anything within the house, so he could also pick it up. But then you have uh, this other guy, Sanitsu, uh, being able to hear every little creak in the house, so he can mm. kind of feel and, like, hear those things. Which means that Daki was probably super quiet at the last part there. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, he, even, he was afraid of sh uh, shitless, and he was like, oh, I didn't even hear him until she freaking talked. Mm -hmm. I was like, the hell? One of my favorite things in fiction is uh kind of establishing a location that has its own set of rules and i love like i love it in in any like games movies comics like what have you like i i mentioned the uh wall market district from final fantasy 7 mm. that feels completely different from like every other location in all of final fantasy 7 because it has its own like it's almost like it's in midgar but it's it almost feels secluded from everything else because it, it it has its own like set of rules and uh i've Kind of in my writing, if I write a screenplay, or not in every screenplay I've written, but I've done that where I'll, you know, try to differentiate a certain location from the rest of the world that I've built. Mm -hmm. um, I think John Wick is another really, really good example of that, where the Continental, the hotel is, uh, like, you can't kill anyone in there. It's where all the business is done. If you hate someone and, like, they need to die, you will probably get killed if you try to kill that person 
You yeah, know? you need to like, do it out yeah, of the place. Yeah, there's like a, a really like tight set of rules there, which I really like because it makes it feel it, it's world building. Like, and I feel like the entertainment district is really setting that up nicely with not just like how the city operates, but how Docky has been involved in the city for yeah, hundreds yeah, and, of years. Yeah, how, yeah, how I, I, uh, the Bruggle, I think it's a good way to call it, Bruggles, like, the, I don't know how to call it in plural, right? But uh, how all those houses technically operate under her rule to a degree, because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, granted, she doesn't necessarily run them, but she has such a high influence on, of, like, if anybody crosses me, they disappear. Yeah. I mean, seriously. And you know that it's because I, I, I'm here. So either do what you want. I cannot promise that you're here mm -hmm. tomorrow type of thing. Mm -hmm. And so everybody just let it happen. It's like, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, don't don't step on her shoes, you know. Uh, and it, it that's what's so interesting about this arc so far is that 99% of the people in this district probably don't know about that. Yeah, like they know there's something off about her. They don't know what she is or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it, again, they, they don't try to pry. And then you have the very few that are legit like, if she stays at my inn, it's the scariest shit ever. And I might die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I, I liked it a lot because again, it just, it, it incites fear even on the owners. And it's crazy because again, like it's 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 those kind of things that they just need to uh, turn the blind eye. I think is how you call it. Mm -hmm. Turn a blind yeah, eye. Yeah, they uh, have they have no choice but to do that. How how did you feel about her interaction with Muzan though? I I actually really liked it. For me, it felt like Muzan was talking to a dog for a while. Yeah, I mean, I mean and, and, and it, granted, that's technically what all of them are for him. You know, they're just pets. You know, yeah, they, they I, do my bidding type of thing. Like, it's, it makes sense because he is the end-all be-all of all the demons. Mm -hmm. And so, pretty much, like, what the humans are to Daki, that's what Daki is to Muzan. He's just, like, far and above what she is, which is really scary because she's killed seven Hashira. Seven. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Like, if she did that again, we'd be losing, like, half the cast. I, I don't think it's going to happen in this arc. And this will be like my final thought because we've actually been going for quite a while. But um, I I think at some point we're going to get connected to a character and it's going to be Muzan. And we're not going to know that it's Muzan. I think that's a possibility. Well, what do you mean? I see like a character is going to play a big role, but he's going to be like playing as somebody else mm -hmm. and like helping out. I think that's a possibility. I can see it. I can see him. Uh, I, I, I would love to see a so, uh, demon helping out. But then giving you the sec the two phase of like, ugh, these people need to get out of my case or type of thing. Unfortunately, it's gonna be really hard with these guys that have this extra presence. Because even even uh, uh, Inosuke had that. I love and I didn't mention this and I wanted to say it earlier where he, you could see what he sensed. Like he could see the thing going through the wall, mm -hmm. and that's why he he sensed that whole movement. It was freaking cool. I liked it. But the point is that like I really doubt that a demon will be able to play off with these many people having these kind of skills. You're probably right. Of, uh, but it will be cool if they do. I'm curious about the top head of the Hashiras of, of the demon slayers right now. The guy with the the scar. I'm curious if he was a Hashira. A, what give uh, one given point? What breathing style would he have? It would since there's a sun breathing, would there be a moon breathing type of thing? You it's know, a possibility. Like I, I'm curious because like I feel like he will have a breathing technique that nobody else has, just because he's the leader, right? Like, mm -hmm. Let me just say, I'll you know, you know, you know, be be cool for a second, <laughs> and let me have something that nobody else has type of thing. Yeah, um, I really love your theory on it though that he was he was quite possibly the strongest and then he got attacked by muzon and now he's kind of disabled because i really don't th i really don't think that he had the son because i feel like the son has been passed down by the tanjiro family yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's it uh but I ra i'd rather see another move that may not be as highly skilled but if anything one step below like the second breathing technique ever mm -hmm. created type of thing and that was his and he was close to kill muzon but he wasn't able to so now it's uh, like tanjiro's family mm -hmm. to take over that'll be cool all right. Well, are we are we are we good? Yeah. We've talked a lot, actually, yeah, a lot more than I thought. Uh, I'll just save the outro for everybody else, and then just not even show the episode.
<laughs> Alrighty, guys, that was fun. Boring episode. We enjoyed the episode, yep. and we're ready for the next one. So, All see right. you next. Goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed another Weeps Closet reaction. A special thanks to our Patreons. We appreciate your extra support to keep this channel going. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.